Well, Baltimore police have released details on several recent juvenile crime incidents. 15 young people were arrested for various crimes in the past five days across nearly half of the city's police districts. Fox 45's Alexa Ashwell takes a look at those recent examples of juveniles accused of committing crimes. Armed robberies. 1201 North Patterson Park, 10 rounds. Carjackings and car thefts. I'm watching four little kids, uh, maybe 15, 16, jump out of a car, 1.30 in the morning. Crimes that unfortunately are known to be committed by young people. And here in Baltimore, showing little to no sign of slowing. The behavior by the kids is outrageous. On the eve of Thanksgiving, police were called to Baltimore's Patterson Park after a victim says they were robbed at gunpoint by a group of juveniles. The victim is claiming that the four juveniles, um, high schoolers, dressing all black, uh, went towards the park. They utilized a handgun. Just days later, a rash of armed robberies hit the Pigtown area. It's going to be about five or six juveniles. They're going to be wearing masks. The majority of the suspects were told juveniles. One of them brandished a knife. When you look into those kids' eyes, you they do not see fear. No fear, many say, due to a lack of consequence. If BPD says, well, we're arresting them, and you see that, you know, on the report that, you know, that they're, or at least they were in custody and they were taken downtown, so you know that. Uh, DJS says that, you know, we're giving them services and look at our chart and here's how great this is working. But yet, down here, you know, there's a lot of instances with our own eyes, with our cameras, with whatever, you know, we use, whatever evidence, it seems like there are kids slipping through those cracks. There have been more than 10,000 car thefts reported in Baltimore so far this year. Last week, BPD revealed about 38% of these thefts were committed by juveniles. The breakdown even more concerning, with about two-thirds of those suspects reported to the Department of Juvenile Services and only 5% serving time in a DJS facility. Juveniles who are accused of committing violent crimes, like carjacking, should be detained um, for some period of time until their case can be adjudicated. Um, and they're not. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Maxine Stryker. Thanks for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, take a moment to subscribe to our channel.